because now that a lot of people are finding this, they're saying, why are you just copying Tate? I've been saying the same since 2015. I've been on YouTube for a long time. There's a lot of people who are just finding out about my I've been on the same since 2000, I started my channel in 2013. If you don't believe me, if you think that I'm just riding a wave right now, get off my dick. Let me show you this. A lot of you haven't seen this video. Actually, uh, pretty much all of you, none of you have seen this video. I am not a feminist, and for some reason that means I'm against gender equality. Whenever I tell people that I don't consider myself a feminist, I get the same response. Read the date. 2015. 2015, chat. Seven years ago. Feminism is for equality of both genders. One, if that was true, it would be called humanism. It's already hypocritical in the title. That's like saying white supremacy is for the advancement of all races. Two, it's just not true. The third wave of feminism to me is a bullshit way for insecure women to get riled up over nothing. Now I'm quite aware I just offended a lot of you, as I usually do, including my friends and family who are all for feminism. We're all a bunch of blowhard liberals who criticize those who watch Woody Allen movies. If I was alive at the turn of the century when women did not even have the right to vote, I would have been as angry as the Twitter accounts today calling men misogynist and caps today not don't say advanced warfare w this is the worst call of duty of all time dd code donated 50 said yo people are dumb i develop apps and you got to assume people won't read anything i blame tiktok for literally making people dumb yes gen z's getting really really stupid they really they don't want you to be smart they want you to dumb you down to keep you controlled so you don't think anything so you don't see what's really happening <laughs> that you're more controlled if you're stupid and it opens up your eyes when you start going on tiktok how many of the people who have been posting on the tiktok clips realized how people all say the same exact shit in the comment section it gets so repetitive people don't think past level two because they don't have to and i'm a little bit worried bro for this generation because people are so dumb so dumb i was uh i think 16 years old in this video not so much. The most well-known uh, accomplishments of feminism have been the start of Gamergate, getting the scientist who landed on a comet arrested for a shirt, and um, nope, that's pretty much just it. Nothing else has changed in three years other than annoying hashtags about why you're being oppressed because of catcalling. See the rate- Word for word the same shit I'm talking about now, and still nothing has changed since 2015. It's still the same. Aging stereotypical feminist with the glasses, dyed red pixie cut, and 1980s librarian getup, commonly known as feminazis, aren't going after the right people. Keep in mind, this isn't all of feminism. I'm not that ignorant. Just bear with me here for two more minutes, folks. The feminist movement is attacking the most harmless people and are blind to what gender equality should be. They go after nerd culture like science and gaming because men like them seek the approval of women and submit like limp penises to any sort of criticism. There I was talking about limps back in 2015. How men submit and give their power away to bitches on the internet seven years ago. How much worse has it gotten? One more time, run it back. Because men like them seek the approval of women and submit like limp penises to any sort of criticism. There was a fucking shitstorm when the first person to land anything on a comet was accepting his award. You want to know why? Because he wore this shirt. An artistic shirt that portrayed a few women half naked is what was the main focus for feminists for weeks. It became illegal to throw acid in women's faces in India this decade and they're going after a scientist wearing a shirt. Let me ask you please, what actual harm does he pose on you? Is he really damaging your gender no. really isis is posting videos of them beheading hundreds of women at a time and instead of focusing any effort whatsoever on this they focus on chicks in video games showing too much tit we're being oppressed misogyny the sole reason gamers are being targeted is because it's so fucking easy we're nerds who couldn't give a shit and don't have the balls to defend ourselves this is what angers me about this movement of course women are overall inferior to men in today's society but insecure americans are using it to give themselves a false sense of power i bet you've seen something on social media saying Hashtag I need feminism because I have to cross the street when I see a man coming my way at night. That is sex. This is fuck. What happened to gender equality? You're making all men appear like violent rapists because of a study. Imagine if you said instead, I need white supremacy because I have to cross the street when I see a black man coming my way. That is the exact same thing. Thing. There is no rape culture in America. There are crazy people who want to get a nut off. There are very severe punishments for domestic violence and it is never taken lightly. So no, I don't consider myself a feminist even though I want gender equality and I do not think the feminist movement is accomplishing anything. So take one minute and put down your tumbler pitchforks and come to the realization of your irrelevance. Shit doesn't age, man. The truth always prevails. This shit's still relevant seven years later. So get off my nuts saying I'm right away. Stop saying that I'm trying to copy anything. This is what I've been saying on my channel for nine years. If you don't believe me, go watch my channel. Why do you think I got that Millie plaque? All the people who are coming in now from TikTok. I've been doing this for nine years, bro. This whole ass little kid was spitting. 
Bro, you know, I, I wasn't even playing video games back then. This is somebody else's gameplay. I sucked. I've never been a gaming nerd, bro. I play video games for YouTube and shit like that. But most people don't think for themselves. People don't have to. They provide all these little options so that you could just be retarded. And I knew that at a young age. And I actively tried to avoid falling into the bot mentality. Everyone was supposed to be a feminist back in 2015. And you still are. And back when I was a kid, a little kid, I still knew better. Am I trying to like brag or nothing? No, I'm pointing this out because you think that I'm riding a wave right now. I want to show you another one of my old videos, bro. It's a good one. Yesterday, I spent my last day as a sophomore, which means I'm now old enough to make fun of freshmen publicly, but too old to hook up with freshmen without it being a discussion of creepiness. I've also not uploaded in a month for about the sixth time in the past year, so I can tell you I'm sorry, but I'm not. The reason that I didn't is because my mindset has been changing a lot over the past few weeks, and everything I considered talking about felt pretty stupid the next day. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those videos again. Strap in if you want, and unsubscribe if you don't feel like thinking. I'm not as angry as I was in 2013, and I'm not as self-involved and pretentious as I was in 2014. And what better way to experience Express that than in my YouTube channel about me. I was having a conversation with this person last week where I realized I had I'm showing you this because a lot of you changed. I miss the old blue. Why are you just trying to like appeal to incels? Why are you trying to this? You just this is what the same shit I've been saying for years. For years, bro had no interest in them at all. This person talks like running into your second grade teacher at the grocery store. This person is the kind of guy you see talking, then question your life and wonder how it got to this point. I was watching his lips open and close without actually hearing whatever was coming out of it. While this person was talking about his summer plans, all I could think about was how easy it would be to sucker punch him right in the face to get him to shut the fuck up in that moment. But of course, my facial expression was blankly smiling and nodding every once in a while like an asshole. But at this point, he started doing the thing where he asks you something just so he can say, what he thinks about that something. So did you catch the new Avengers movie? Yeah, well, I was actually thinking about maybe... Uh... Yeah, well, I saw it, and it wasn't even close to the way it was in the first one. The first one blew my mind. I mean, it had new characters, but it didn't really just add to the way that I thought it. This is when I started sympathizing with serial killers and how easy it would be to strangle his fucking neck. I finally realized that a good amount of my conversation have been exactly like this. For me, and for most of the people I talk to. I can't be the only one with borderline personality disorder when it comes to talking to boring people. When I talk about my last vacation and that funny time that happened at the restaurant and it was crazy, the other guy's probably visualizing smacking me in the face until I can no longer breathe. In today's world, no one gives a shit what you have to say. We're all just waiting for you to stop talking so we can say what we want to say. I now know that by shutting the fuck up once in a while, it makes people make an effort to actually listen and learn about you. Think about it. Everyone that you and I can't stand to be around are the ones that talk about their life story in every meeting. You know, the ones that laugh about their stories from yesterday when they saw that guy and it was crazy. So I want you to try this. Tomorrow, go about your day and refrain from speaking until spoken to. Shut your mouth once in a while and listen, but try to do this without looking like an emo 14 year old. This whole self reflection process for me is about how people perceive me. I do consider myself an intelligent person for a teenager who gets straight C's, but I discovered that this doesn't reflect in pretty much all of my conversations. Have you really noticed that you haven't got to know someone until you have a one on one conversation? People are completely different when you talk in groups. You're unable to understand understand why a person acts a certain way until you get to know them. You don't really know most of the people you see every day, and this is because of the constant bullshit shielding it that we can't stop talking about. Do you really care what Matthew is doing this June? Really? No. Do you honestly want to discuss the fact that it might rain this afternoon? One time in Manhattan, I threw a french fry and hit Don Cheadle in the face in a McDonald's. I don't know, you didn't know that. Maybe you've been feeling some homosexual tendencies recently and you're wondering what you prefer. I don't know. Let's talk. Let's find out. The impression you give off to someone is solely based on the way you speak. And it's how most of you are insecure young men with bad haircuts who are going to get their first jobs pretty soon. Take this into consideration. Who knows? The next person you- Chad, do you see the retards in the chat right now? Yo, is this live? Is this being recorded? They keep coming in. A lot of retards. People are getting dumber. The fact that I was smarter at 16 shows, like, just there's so many fucking stupid people here. It's really just sad to see. Might speak to could be a serial killer. <laughs> The same shit. 2014. I was 15 years Yo, old. You all are 13. We're all in 
So most of my viewers are still in school, so I thought, who am I kidding? You all are 13. We're all in school, and I'm here to tell you the five teachers that you all probably have. Number one, the one who gives a balls amount of homework, but never does anything in class at all. Most of the time you watch The Twilight Zone or a 10-part National Geographic documentary about whales. When you aren't watching pointless bullshit that doesn't pertain to the homework you're doing at all, you're being lectured. When someone raises their hand, they obviously see it and pretend like they don't. What you have to remember was that the Mongolian triumvirate under the Qing Dynasty demographic in the 13th- Tammy, are you doing your homework in class? No, Mrs. 68 year old single mom. I'm doing the notes he told us to take. Literally everybody here is doing the exact same thing as me. See me after class. <sighs> May I please use the restroom? I have to go take my leukemia medication now. Do it during recess. But we don't have recess. Shut up. Can I use the potty? Go right ahead and don't hurry back. Number two, the fun love- The same jokes, the same exact shit. I'm showing you this so you get up off my dick. You changed! You changed! I miss the old shit! It's the same shit, dummy! I'm sick of you fucking idiots saying nonsense every day. Having teacher that doesn't actually teach. Every day in class you do random shit like learn how to make paper airplanes, or discover the fulcrum of a seesaw. The tests you take are all incredibly easy, and if you don't know the answer, just ask the question. Uh, Mr. White Guy who tells stories? I don't fully understand question two. You see, are you saying that- Oh, it's B. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, sure. That, yeah, okay. Number three, the foreign teacher. This teacher has been living in the United States for at least 30 years, but you're not sure if he's from the Soviet Union or Australia. His teaching doesn't matter because you can't understand shit. Today in class, we are going to learn about Prabla. Uh, what? Prabla. What? Prabla. What are you saying? Prabla Obama. Sorry, it just sounds like you're smacking food. Are you saying anything? Club. Number four, the college kid. The college kid can either be an intern that all the girls are in love with, or a 24-year-old teacher you can't take seriously because he's also the soccer coach. Mr. I got herpes in spring break. I, I don't know what page we're on. Yeah. That's that's not an actual answer. I just I lost the page because you were rambling about how nice your boyfriend was for about 30 minutes J Just look over someone else's book. No, you don't understand. I have my book It's just just because I'm a substitute teacher doesn't mean you have to give me disrespect. No, I'm number five the neighbor He's overly friendly. He thinks he's 40 years younger than he actually is dresses like that and has bad breath He's either your uncle your mom's best friend or a pedophile. Hey, what's the hap sport catch the neat Patriots match last night? I hear you're quite the avid follower. No, mr. Socks with cargo shorts. I didn't didn't have the time. You know what they say? Et tu, Brute? I didn't either. I was busy planting flowers while showing my hairy butt cleavage to the entire street. <sighs> Catch you later. Gotta go yell at middle schoolers for not recycling. These videos are goaded, bro. Y'all seen how people view you? That's one of my favorites of all time. Last one. Last time watching my old shit. Shit, everyone. It's me. I'm here. What do people think of you? This is what we Chad, you've seen this video? Live for. It isn't how can I make myself better, it's if I go hiking this weekend, how many Instagram likes can I get if I take a selfie next to a tree? Our image is everything, and if you pay attention, you'll see the lengths people go to to maintain this. Virtually everything you do is in anticipation of how someone else is gonna react. You know that guy who says he doesn't give a fuck about what people think, or, you know, don't get offended if you don't like my beliefs, shit like that? That guy does care. They all care. He just wants people to think that he has a personality too. So don't be that cunt, please. Just. Be, be a different guy, don't be that guy. Let me show you an example of this. I found a tweet here and it reads, I love how strong I am now. There are two options here. Either one, it's a dude who went to the gym twice and can now bench 85 pounds, or it's a girl in her late teens who wants attention. I prefer the latter. I'll go with the latter. And yes, I was right. The same shit. Seven years. Seven years. This is the same exact shit I'm talking about now. And from this selfie in her profile picture, I swear to God on my life, I guarantee you within 10 seconds, I'm not cheating, I will scroll and I will find you a selfie that either says I'm a loser, I'm a nerd, or me too. Here we go. God, God damn it. God damn it. So let's jump in our mindset here. Y'all are still just as predictable in 2015. Bots. All you are fucking bots. And I knew it back then too. Nobody's actually buying that she thinks she's a nerd, and she knows that too. But in 2015, it's not cool to seem like you're trying hard, so alone in her room putting on makeup at 8pm, she's wondering, how can I get attention for the next few hours? She has to feel important for the rest of the night. So what she does is she scans her room, voila, she sees her glasses on her desk. That's, That's a, prop a proper for a selfie. selfie. LOL, nerd. She won't post a picture of herself chugging Mountain Dew and sucking Dorito stains off of her fingers 
while you know going to town watching anime from the early 2000s now the glasses are enough of a prop for this picture but that's just on the internet everybody says that we spend time crafting this image of ourselves with filters music quotes and edgy it's tweets it's like it, it's pretty much like making a sims character how you see me on youtube is this person that i create through hours and hours of hard work i script literally everything i say and edit it in a program you have no idea what i'm actually like for all you know i could be a youtube drone created by google to scare you away from the YouTube you don't have to pay for. And YouTube is even more bot than it was then. They're giving me community strikes. I'm getting community strikes now. But I was saying the same shit, bro. This is, what ha this is just an example. I want to talk about this because if you stay true to what you really mean, eventually it'll pay off. Real life people view me as a kind of wannabe Sometimes annoying, slightly funny fuckboy. And you know, subconsciously I spend a lot of my time perfecting that image. I don't wake up and think, how could I not be a douchebag today? I wake up and think, who can I piss off the most? Most of you have extremely fucked up thoughts that you don't say out loud because they affect your persona. I'm guessing at least more than half of you are closet racist and even some of you kind of wanted me to go home at some point. I was, I was born here, by the way, please don't deport me, Mr. Trump. Probably more than half of you have some more gay thoughts than you care to admit. And at least one third of you have spent some time on the really sketchy parts of the internet. Fucking, fucking weirdos. The reality is most of us are gonna spend our lives wondering how everyone else is gonna see us instead of improving ourselves for ourselves. You know, it even comes down to your haircut. When I have a buzz cut, I want people to think I'm a big tough guy, you know, big tough guy. Que paso? Que paso rey? Hey, oh my ese. When I got the quarter black half Asian fro going on, I want you to think that maybe I go to museums or something. Maybe I'm one of those guys that reads grown-up books with titles that have sentence fragments, like, uh, Searching for meaning. I, I, I guarantee you that's a book. I don't know though. Should I post this? Maybe the people are gonna think I'm a tryhard. Same shit. You get the point, chat? What is real will prosper. This shit is still not. This shit doesn't even make me cringe because I still stand on everything I said from when I was a teenager. Everything, man. Nothing changed. Nothing changed.